Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, pretty much yesterday, I went to Sheffield with my sister. So, I did some, like, just some random videos. Um, I was going to vlog, but then I was kind of, like, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. So, I just done, kind of filmed some videos that I'm just going to add into this video. But I want to show you guys what I got, because um, I got quite a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. Um, most of them are, like, stationary stuff, so be very aware of that. <laughs> But I'm not really, like, keep in mind, I am 15 years old. I'm not really a massive makeup girly. Like, I don't wear makeup. I'm not a massive fan of makeup. So, um, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got. So, I don't know how much some of this cost. Okay, right. So, I don't know what to start with first because I got quite a lot. So, first of all, technically, um... We got on the train, obviously, to Sheffield, um, which it was about a half an hour train ride. It wasn't that long. Um, it was a small train ride to Sheffield. And then we got there, and we had bowling planned at around half two, I think, two o'clock. Um, so, obviously, I'll walk through that when that happens. But um, we got there and we went through the shop. So the first shop we went to was a cute stationery shop. Now, me and my sister love this shop. It's such a cute shop. It has really cute stationery in, like anime stuff and Hello Kitty stuff. It's such a cute shop. And me and my sister always make sort of go. Um, we did come here two times. We went out on the way back after bowling. But I'm just going to show you what I got, like, all together. Right. First of all, <laughs> I got these really cute pens. So, they are just, they're like different colours. I, I can't really, I'll, I'll do a, I'll show you what colours are. But, um, these three, they're like, they're all blue colours, so they're really cute. But, they are just really cute pens. And I like that three of them are blue and then one of them, three of them are blue and one of them is purple. So yeah, I really like pens. I like colouring in. And I have a bunch that I got from Paper Chase, but Paper Chase isn't there anymore, which is quite sad. Um, I don't know how much these were each because keeping, I just took a bunch of money and obviously it was when I wasn't going to buy anything else. So I was like, I'm just going to pick stuff up and buy it if I want to buy it. Because um, I did have quite a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah, these are the pens. And then I also got these two really cute pens. So this one has like cute little designs on it. It's a little like blue pen. And my favourite colour is mine. And then this is also a little dinosaur pen. It has cute little dinosaurs on it. And it's like kind of, it's like the same as this but little dinosaurs. And those were £1.99 each. So altogether this probably cost me about like 4 quid. But... I'm not saying anything. So then I also, I can't really show you these, but I got some cute little stick stickers. Um, I don't know how much they were because I got a um, blind bag from that shop too. Um, just a blind bag. And it had, it, this was £10. And I can't quite remember what I got in it because I just got a lot of things from that shop. But I'll show you the things I got and then... Oh, okay, right, so these are the stickers. So, let me like, get one out. So, these are the stickers that I got in the blind bag. So, that the blind bag cost, cost me £10. Um, but my sister got one. I got mine on the way back uh, when we went the second time. My sister got hers on the first time. And she got a lot of really good things in hers. So, that's why I decided to get mine. But these stickers just have really good prints on them. They're like people they're really cute and then these that's um one pack of stickers and then these are the other pack of stickers they're like hologramic like really cute hologram stickers and they're just really cute and i've been really needing some stickers honestly so i didn't pick up any stickers because i obviously didn't know what i was going to get in the blind bag so i was like i don't want to get stickers and then get even more stickers but i'm so glad i got stickers and i got more stickers too i'll show you in a minute but yeah um, honestly, I kind of want to start getting into journaling, especially for my, I, I have diaries where I just write in them a lot, and I kind of want to get, like, into doing more cute designs. So this is my second, 
Um, these were obviously two separate packs, but I did use some of these because <laughs> for journaling yesterday. But these ones aren't. I'm not really a massive fan of these ones, but they just kind of have like cute designs on them, and it's all kind of like it's very um like Valentine kind of theme this pack. Which I'm not really a massive fan of, but they are kind of cute, you know. I'm not really a massive fan of Valentine's Day because I'm literally single every single year. But, I mean, I'm not into dating that much anyway, so I'm not really that bothered. Um, but, yeah. Um, and then these are the other packs. They are, like, little... They're just little greenery things, like grass and things. Like I said, they are kind of boring. Um, but they're cute. I mean, I got them for free pretty much. I didn't have to pay for them, but I mean, I'm not that bothered. They're cute. So I'll take anything that's cute at this point. So, yep. Then, oh, my sister got these in hers. Um, they are a pack of pens. And I saw these in the shop and they were £15, I think. Between like 15 and 10 pounds. So, and we got the blind bag for 10 pounds. So, obviously, this is really good that we've got a really good sale. Of these. And it's just like 12 different types of pens, pencils, like for sketching and stuff. Um, my sister gave them me because I do a lot of like drawing and stuff like that, and she didn't want them. Um, so, thank you for that, Brian. Next is this really cute, no cute notebook. Um, it's technically just a little notebook. It's so cute though. I really like it. And I got that in the blind bag as well. And next, oh, next we got some uh, washi tape and some stickers. So I don't know what these stickers actually are. I think they are like roses and like leaves and things. And then this is like animals. So this is kind of cute. I the things in the start were just random things that was already sold out or wasn't selling out and just ones left over. But honestly, I got quite a good deal. So I'm not complaining. So... After we went there, we walked all the way up to near, like, the works and all those really cute shops. So, I'll show you what I got from the works. So, my sister has always done, like, journaling. Like, even if it was just for, like, K-pop, she's always done really cute journaling. And she had these. Um, and what she's done is she used to, like, well, she still does. She rips them out so they kind of make, like, a little pattern on the letter I don't know how that works I don't know how to explain it but it's like a little cute little pattern ripped off scrapbook kind of look and I really wanted to do that for quite a while but we didn't I didn't have these um so I got some of these I got these ones so it's just like um daylight vibes and it's just like different colors and stuff and then I also got this one which just has all the different colors in but yeah and I've already used one page so I really like this and I will be using these in the future. So then, after we went there, we went to this really cute other shop. And it was like a charity kind of shop. But it wasn't a charity shop. It was. It kind of had... It had the in-stock was like charity, but the actual things wasn't charity. But yeah, and I got really cute gummy bear earrings. I'm wearing them right now. But they're just little gummy bear earrings. They're really cute. I will show you them. So yeah. And then... Then, before bowling, we had to, we went to one more shop, which, oh, we went to another child shop, we'll get to that, we went to another child shop, and as I said, my sister used to do K-pop journaling, I used to be, when I was about six, seven, a little bit of a K-pop fan, I knew some of their old songs, I'm not a, that massive K-pop girly anymore like I was when I was younger, but I still listen to the occasional K-pop song, so, you know, me, me went in the south shop. My sister said, why is there a BTS album? I was like, BTS? There was three BTS albums. So, me being like a massive, like, oh my god, what the hell. I got myself a BTS album. <laughs> so, this one, I don't know if my sister, I don't know K-pop. I don't know BTS that much anymore. But my, I, my sister was like, get this one which is are you late this one so it's like get this bts album because this is one of their first ever albums and it will get like you could sell for a lot now i already have a bts album i have a blue one and don't know where it is somewhere under my bed but i have a blue bts album that my cousin gave me when i was a massive bts and i still have so i was like okay i'll get it i don't know if it's the first one but yeah 
I've it comes with a poster right? so obviously I've actually not looked at this oh my god oh my Jesus Christ oh um oh my god it's definitely one of the first ever albums because I I was my sister is six years older than me she kind of got me into K-pop I wouldn't I wouldn't say I was a massive massive fan of K-pop when I was younger but I I liked BTS BTS was my number one band I it was like BTS and Blackpink I think those were my two bands um and I can say that I think this is definitely one of the first ever albums because they just look so young before we left I was like obviously I need to check that there's a CD we got the CD there's a CD now, I have a CD player in my room, so I put this on yesterday, and I was listening to it for a bit, and I was like, yeah, this is an old album, because I recognise, like, a lot of the songs on it, and I've not listened to BTS in years. So then, we went to another song, we went to HMV, um, pulled myself a Melanie Martinez CD, which is Cry Baby. I really like Melanie Martinez, so obviously I had to get myself a CD. This was £8.99, so it was, you know, pretty cheap. I was going to get myself a Radiohead one too, but I was like, nah. Um, I saw this, I immediately put that back and ran to get this. Because I was one there. <laughs> so yeah, I really like Melanie Martinez. I'm a massive fan of her. I think she's amazing. But yeah, um, so that's pretty much everything I got. So we got bowling. Bowling's all good. So bowling's really fun. Um, we go bowling, we have a fun time. Um, can I just say, I'm so good at bowling. I went with my mum in the summer holidays, with my whole family in the summer holidays. I literally won, like, against my mum. Like, I beat everyone. I'm so good at bowling. Um, but I beat my sister in, I think I beat her, I definitely beat her in the first game. I'm not so sure about the second one. I think I did. Um, if not, it was very close. So we get back. Now there is a train that is meant to be going at half three from where we need to go to Sheffield back to our house. We're like, we're not going to get on that train. We we're going to get on the four o'clock one, I think, half four, four. My, we get back and we could have got on the half three train, but that got delayed until four. But we didn't know that, obviously. We were like, well, there's no point in catching that train because it, it by the time we get to the station, because we had just come off the tram from bowling. We were like, there's no point. We're not going to get to the train in time. We were going to get the half four, half four five train. So, we, obviously, we do a bit more shopping. We come back down to the train station. Keep in mind, it is literally freezing, right? I'm shivering, I'm cold, I have this big coat on. And you know when you feel like hot and cold at the same time? I kind of felt like that. I was a bit like that at the train station. And guess what happens? Our train gets delayed. So now I'm getting really worried because if you know me, I don't like changes, right? Being in Sheffield was already big enough for the change, but I've done it before so it wasn't like a big change. It was just a little bit of a change. The train keeps getting delayed by little by little by little. So I'm like, I want to be back for around five when the train was meant to pick us up and meant to get back for half five. It keeps getting delayed until it's meant to come up. It gets delayed little by little by little. And then my train we're meant to get on is meant to come at five, right? It keeps, we keep getting, our train keeps getting delayed. So I'm like worried, I'm really worried, I'm like, oh my god, we're not going to get back in time, we're going like, to not get back in time. Like, I'm panicking, I'm about to stop sobbing and have a panic attack. My heart rate, I have a Fitbit on, right, so it tells you like the time and your heart rate. My heart rate went up to 155, which is really high. I was there, uh, like, I had my hot chocolate, I was sipping my hot chocolate, I was like, oh my god. And my sister's like, there's been an incident between... Literally, our train was meant to swap at a location. An incident happened at that location, and our train can't swap because of this incident. We didn't know what the incident was. I was obviously very fed up. I was like, I just want to get home. 
we didn't know what the incident was. We'll come to that later. Um, so, and there hasn't been a train since half three. There's literal people walking around in their school uniforms because obviously if you go need to get to the next city, you go on a train. I, I'm sat there and I'm like, I'm so mad right now because I just want to get home and there's late trains and everything. Trains are getting cancelled. Is I'm panicking and like stressing out so much. Explains why our train couldn't get to Sheffield because that's where they needed to swap. We didn't get back until seven o'clock. We had been waiting for the train for like three hours, a good three hours. We wanted to get back around half three, but we didn't. You know, remember our train comes with all like everyone's there's a it is packed. I'm talking packed. All the seats are taken. There's just a giant clump of people literally everywhere. I'm not good in big situations like that, so I'm like, not only am I freezing, I'm trying not to hyperventilate because there's literal people everywhere. Luckily, I'm like not in the middle and like kind of near where the seats were, so I'm kind of like, at the end, there's nowhere really close to me apart from the people sat in the seats. I mean, there was a sleeping woman literally right behind me, and I did and nearly like fall onto her lap a few times when the train like started moving. Let me tell you, that was the worst train station, the worst train to ever go on. Like, I remember once we went when it was a football game, and um, we went and there was a football but football like game because obviously Sheffield has like a Wembley in it or something. It was packed, but I mean like this was the worst. Like when it was packed, it wasn't packed. packed. But no, it was really bad. Um, and it was the worst thing ever because it was just so bad. And and then eventually these women like get off the train at their stop. I have a seat. We probably got on the train at like I'm guessing it was half six if we got back to seven. But let me tell you, I genuinely was panicking my eyes out. I was sat on that train. I was like oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. I didn't really get that many clips, but I didn't, I wanted to film outside the window when I, not when we realised the incident happened, but I was like on the way back, I was really excited to get like really cute views of like everything, but I was like, no. It was awful. It was the worst thing ever because I, it was just so packed and so full and I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh my god. It was just, it was just really bad. Um, Obviously, you know, they announced it on the train thing, they were like, unfortunately someone's been run over by a train and everyone, it just went deadly silent. I don't think people knew, like, it was that bad, like, that's what the incident was, because my sister found out on Facebook, we already knew, we weren't, we were just kind of like, oh no, but it, it, you could just say, like, just, and people just looked really sad and like, obviously, and... But I was kind of there, like, and then after they said that, I wasn't that angry anymore. I was like, obviously, it's an like accident, like. But we still don't know any news about that. We don't know what like their gender was or anything. We just know someone was run over by a train, which is awful. It's awful. But yeah, so that was a really really good day out. But I mean, it was fun. I got some cute stuff. Oh, forgot to say. I also got some mascara now. I don't know if I've already shown this, but I'm not a makeup girl. I don't wear makeup. You know what I'm saying? But my sister, we were in Superdrug, and my sister was like, wouldn't it be funny if you were to buy some mascara? Like, so you could try it out. Because my sister's like, no, my sister's obviously, she's not forcing me to get into makeup. Because she's already tried to do that and it hasn't worked. Because I'm 15. She tried to get me in it when I was 13, 12. 14. I'm just not it. I'm not a makeup girl. She was like, get some mascara. And I was like, okay. It's not, I, I'm okay with mascara because it doesn't change your face. It just makes your eyelashes more visible. I got some mascara. I also got one of these things <laughs> from um, the arcade because we went to an arcade at Bowling 2. Oh my god. But yeah, that was kind of fun. Um, And that was a really cute day out. Um... Yeah, so it's kind of fun. The ending wasn't was a bit sad and not that fun anymore. Um, I don't know when we're going to Sheffield next because, like I said, I can't go 
to Sheffield on my own because Sheffield's not a good town. Like, I mean, it is, obviously. It's a good town. It's whatever. It's cute. It has clearly cute stores. Generally, though, it's just not a good place for young people to be. Um, but, yeah. Um, that's technically the end of this. Thank you for watching. Um, I hate myself for doing this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Um, don't subscribe. Don't. I probably won't be making any more videos because this is this channel right, is literally for a laugh. It's just to see how far I can actually come on YouTube with literally being like a teenager. Don't take this seriously. This is not meant to be like good content. This is just a laugh. This is a giggle for me. This is funsies and this for me. Not for you. Me. So yeah, enjoy. Life's not a movie, there's no time machine, no dramatic final scene When you go, it might just end Life will never place you on the primacy You might have to die to see who is fake and who's a friend I know everybody really like to be someone with a lover Just a person that they can depend on I can't even really blame a single person for their bad decisions When we're in a world where we're just kinda sent off there's like five friends I have Six if you count the new girlfriend one has Five again if you excluded my dad Cause they put that dude straight inside of a massive box Glass and rocks will break my bones These black and rocks make gaping holes Fashion shops have made me hate my soul They sell canine schools I'm so insecure I'll probably buy it The other week a dummy dweeb hooked me on a diet Yeah Mad I couldn't reach my goals exact height Mad that my stomach pops out, there's no abs tight And I know that caring how I look is apprehension In the scheme of life, it isn't really worth a mention I feel like a broken record or a broken engine Cause whenever I get tense, I get this intervention Life's not a movie, there's no time machine No dramatic final scene, when you go, it might just end Life will never place you on the primacy You might have to die to see who is fake and who's a friend I know everybody really like to be someone with the lover Just a person that they can depend on I can't even really blame a single person for their bad decisions When we're in a world where we're just kinda sent off